Today we're going to talk about nonprofit blogging and I know I completely understand that you don't have the time or the resources for this, but I am going to teach you a little hack that will actually save you some time on your content creation. And some of the reasons why we should be doing blogs on our websites is because it helps drive traffic. It also is going to give us a few little pieces that are shareable for our content creation that will also be engaging. And finally, it helps position us as leaders in our field. So let's do some non profit blogging basics. The first thing we have to do is really understand our audience and as part of our marketing strategy we always recommend doing personas which is where we take our constituents and we really drill down into who they are what motivates them what do they want from us what are some of their demographics and when we have a good handle on this we can tailor our content to them Choosing a topic is going to be a lot easier when I understand who my audience is. We're also going to talk a little bit later about SEO and I have some tricks for how we can find content that's searchable, what people are looking for. Now that I have my audience and my topic, I want to figure out what kind of template, how do I want to present this? Obviously we do video blogs, but you can do written blogs, stories, listicles, infographics. When sitting down to write, I just do a dump. I get out all of the key points that I want to get out and then I begin to move them around. I want a strong opening. I want to hook you right in the beginning and then I want to close really strong. And then in between, I'm going to do any research that I need, pull any stats that I need. And then I'll begin to flesh it out. I quite often use the five W's as well. Who, what, when, where, and how. Once I have my blog written, now it's time to post it. So this is where we're going to talk about search engine optimization. There's programs that I use. My favorite is probably something called SEMrush and I'll link it below in the comments. But it helps me, for example, before I even did this video or this blog, I started by doing some SEO research and I found out that nonprofit blogging tips and tricks was something that wasn't there wasn't a lot of competition out there for it and there was a lot of search for it so i decided to do my topic on this when actually posting i'm going to make sure i haven't put this on my website yet but when i do i'm going to want to make sure that the keywords that i researched are in my title they're in my meta description they're in the first few paragraphs and my copy and i have an h1 title with those keywords in as well and the reason being is, let's say for example, I am a breast cancer charity and I'm fairly new and I wanna get some traffic and, and get some awareness going. So I'm gonna do a blog post, say on implants. I've done my research and I realize there's not a lot of information out there on implants and breast cancer. When people are Googling, they're gonna come across the blog. They're gonna click on it, they're gonna to go to our website, which brings us to the next point and that's integration. I want to make sure, and I always talk about integration, I want to make sure that my website is linked with my socials and my socials are linked to my website. I also want to make sure that I'm capturing email addresses. I want to have a sign up right there on the blog. And remember that little hack that I told you about how this is actually going to save you time? Well, there's a marketing guru by the name of Gary V and he has a philosophy whereby you create one piece of long content and then you turn it into a bunch of smaller pieces. So if I'm writing a blog, that can become five to 10 different social media posts. So I'm actually saving time. I also want to make sure to use my analytics. I want my website obviously to be hooked up to Google Analytics so I can track what's working, what's not working, what's been popular, what, what hasn't, so it'll help me plan more content in the future. I also want to be consistent. I want to make sure to maintain a regular post schedule. We do once a week, you can do once a month, just so long as you're consistent. The other thing that I want to recommend is patience. It can take a lot of time to grow. It takes a while for the, the search engines to index your pages and to Google them. It's, SEO is something that I, I keep meaning to do a video on because it is very, very important. If your page or your website is optimized, you will get more traffic. My final piece, 
of advice is don't mind the haters. I know the first time I got a thumbs down, I was mortified, but it happens. There's haters out there. So I hope this was helpful. And as always, please like, subscribe, share, do all that YouTube-y stuff. So thank you and have a wonderful day.